Hi, today we're going to demystify Azerbaijan's favorite subject, four resolutions of the United Nations Security Council from 1993. Azerbaijani leader loves the subject so much that he never talks without mentioning the four UN resolutions. Even during sex? Screams that out at the climax. Four UN Security Council resolutions adopted in 1993 demand immediate, complete and unconditional withdrawal of the Armenian Armed Forces. The United Nations Security Council has adopted four resolutions. United Nations Security Council adopted four resolutions. As a matter of fact, that is how he orders coffee at the UN cafeteria. He goes, I'll have a decaf latte with a marshmallow. And have you heard about the four resolutions? And since few people know what UN Security Council does and doesn't do, and even fewer people know what the resolutions actually say, we yeah, decided- we, thought we should really talk about it. First and foremost, the UN does not have a legal recognition function, so it has never discussed and never recognized the legal status of any region in the world. It just doesn't do that. Therefore, the four resolutions cannot legally recognize the status of Nagorno-Karabakh and the adjacent regions. And since a video of something that UN never does doesn't exist, we'll just show you a clip of a little girl being forced to cry for a propaganda poster in Azerbaijan. Shouldn't there be a UN something about something condemning something like this? Anyway, back to the four resolutions. The resolutions call for a number of other things, all of which were somehow neglected by the Azerbaijani leader and never implemented, like resumption of negotiation process, stopping the blockade and opening the roads, and there's one more tiny little detail. The ceasefire, the whole point of the resolutions was ceasefire, which Azerbaijan never complied with then and doesn't comply with now. So the position of Azerbaijan was to ignore every single demand that wasn't in their favor and concentrate on what vaguely was for the last 30 years. Another detail Azerbaijan conveniently avoids mentioning is that Nagorno-Karabakh or Artsakh was always an autonomous region. And just before its collapse, the Soviet Union passed a very inconvenient law. Concerning the procedure of secession of a Soviet Republic from the USSR. Article 3 of the law inconveniently stated that in case a Soviet Republic secedes from the Soviet Union, the autonomous regions and compactly settled ethnic minorities were given the right to secede from the Republic and determine their future status independently. Which Nagorno-Karabakh did and on December 10, 1991, voted to become independent, all in compliance with current law, with international observers and the funny thing, five days earlier than Azerbaijan itself voted to secede from Soviet Union. So I guess the lesson learned is um, read stuff and don't just trust politicians with a mustache.